Happy Tuesday. I'm so glad you were able to join me. For those of you who don't know, I am Teresa Eads, the Children and Youth Ministry Director at Kirksville First United Methodist, and I'm so glad you're here. So today I'm going to share with you <clears throat> a little, well, a devotion, but what led me to sharing this with you was I encountered a situation yesterday where I allowed something that happened to just make me feel very frustrated. I was just so frustrated with the whole situation of what was happening, of the perception that was being created, and it just really got to me. And then I read this devotion today. So I'm going to share it with you. Being a people pleaser versus a God pleaser. Much of what we say and do stems from our desire to be accepted by others. We strive to make a certain impression, to shed the best light possible on ourselves. We want to be viewed as successful. We may decide to exaggerate or embellish. It's difficult to be true to ourselves when we care so much about the acceptance and opinions of others. Impression management is hard work, so it's good to know that God has a better plan. Rather than being driven by opinions of others, how about if we strive to live our lives for God alone and to please God above all else? God knows our hearts. God perceives things as they truly are. We cannot fool our Father. When we allow ourselves to be real, it doesn't matter what others think. If the God of the universe has accepted us, then who cares about someone else's opinion? It is impossible to please both God and man. We must make a choice. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at our heart. Align your heart with your heavenly fathers. Let go of impression management that focuses on outward appearances and receive God's unconditional love and enjoy the freedom to be yourself. And I just love that because the situation that was occurring yesterday that had me so frustrated was the impression that I thought everyone else was going to have of this particular group due to that situation. And I thought, that's just not fair to them. But this reminds me, it doesn't matter because the truth will be known. God knows the truth and what else really matters. And those who matter most in your life know the truth. And that's all that matters. So I thought it was just so lovely when I read this today. And it said, reminded me to be a people pleaser, a God pleaser versus a people pleaser. Rather than being by driven by the opinions of others, strive to live your life for God alone. I love that. And I love that those who know the true being, the true heart, the true you, they don't follow what others might think and where that might fall. Now, most of us, um, you know, may, may be to the point in our lives where we're like, I don't even care. I don't care what other people think of me. I'm me. Take me for what I am. And that's great because that's where God wants you to be. But in my job, I often work with the children and youth who are at the most difficult stage in their life, worrying about what someone else might think, what someone else might say, social media, the influence of this, the influence of that. And I'm constantly trying to reiterate to these young people, to these young minds, to these young hearts, just be you. There is nothing more that is ever going to make you feel happier than being true to yourself. And knowing 
that those who matter will accept you for the true you because God made you that way for a reason. God doesn't make a mistake. God makes perfection in each and every one of us. Let your true light shine. Be yourself. Know that you will be perceived and loved by those who matter. Align your heart with God. Receive that unconditional love. And enjoy the freedom of being yourself. Have an amazing week, and I will see you back next Tuesday.